Thank you, my brothers and my sisters. I thank you and welcome you back again. Today is a very nice day. We're talking about something that is very important. It is important in the sense that everybody needs it. It is the joy. Joy in our lives. The Bible said that in the presence of God there is fullness of joy. And how do we enter into the presence of God to benefit from this fullness of joy that has been promised us? When you say the presence of God, we refer to the presence of God, we are not referring to the presence, just the physical presence of God. We are talking about the spiritual presence of God. And in the presence of God, there is fullness of everything, not just only joy. So it is very vital, it is important that we go into the presence of God and acquire what God has promised for us. Joy, happiness, harmony, peace, success, health, wealth, abundance. These are the embodiment of joy. The fullness of joy comprised of all this virtue, all these qualities. Anything different from or minus of any of this one, the joy is not full. The joy of the Lord is our strength. So in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. And to go into the presence of God is for us to look within us and to, to search what brings happiness. What brings happiness as a matter of fact, joy, is when we know God and get close to God and to do things according to the will of God in our lives. But how do we do things according to the will of God? First and foremost, we must commune with God. Communing with God, it is very vital, very, very important. It's something that we ought to do, not when we are in crisis, but every day of our lives. It is a ritual, a Christian ritual that we do every day of our lives. The most important aspect of Christian life is a prayer section of Christian life. It's where the power lies. It's where the rubber meets the road, so to say. It's the thing that we all have to do. Prayer is the vital aspect of Christian life. Those who neglect prayer, they are pitiful because they are neglecting the most important thing of life. Everyone prays, both the non-believer and the believers pray alike. That's, to, that's an indication of the power of prayer. So if you are the joy of the Lord to enter into the presence of God, it's your communion between you and God. To commune with God and to, to enter into His presence in loneliness of mind. Coming to God the way you are, submitting everything to God. Rely completely on Him. And when you rely on God and the Holy Spirit that God has given to you to guide you day to day, the fear will diminish. You know, panic and, and un unhappiness will vanish. Joy will be your portion. It is the power that God has given to us to excel. We use what God has given to you to attract in. The Bible is not talking about might or power. It's talking about the Holy Spirit. It's not by might, not by power, but by my Spirit, says the Lord. So when you walk in the Spirit of God, things will come to happen in your life. Things will be happening for sure. There's no big deal about it. It is a program that has been set down. What you sow is what you reap. If you sow in prayer, prayer effectively without season, you get it. Even if what you pray for right now is not manifesting, it is going to manifest itself. Prayer is a power that can bring everything to pass. Joy in the presence of God. Seek joy in the presence of God. For in the presence of God is fullness of everything. Amen.